Welcome to a presentation of the Summer Novelties 2021 from Matlin, Trix and LGB. We'll start with a wonderful steam locomotive. At first glance, you'll see that the 17008 doesn't have much in common with the popular model from Class 17. This locomotive has a completely new propulsion system. The propulsion concept has been completely revised. The valve gear has been partially reworked. We now have a driver's cab with a clear view. The necessary weights are now built into the model and hidden, which means a free view through the driver's cab. The locomotive engineer and stoker are included as figures. The locomotive has received a cab light, separately digitally switchable. The fire flicker is separate separately digitally switchable, also the light for oncoming trains. And of course, the locomotive has also gotten a built-in smoke set. We have chosen an operating condition in which it was still operational around 1932. The elegant locomotive, shown here in a historic operating photograph, has been preserved on display in the German Museum of Technology in Berlin. The Märklin model is the fifth and final locomotive in the series Museum Locomotives from MHI in the summer novelty lineup. This locomotive will also be available for both the DC range and tricks. The 081001 has an unusual look. The engine is now available in the premium class in the Märklin program and in the very highest quality. With complete new tooling, it replicates the operating condition from the mid-1950s. The running gear, superstructure and boiler are made of die-cast zinc. Many attachments are made of brass. The smoke box door can be opened. The locomotive was considered exotic on the German rails. During the war years, the French had made their way to East Germany, where it was used as an experimental locomotive. The coal dust tender is represented exactly like the prototype and has been reproduced in great detail. An MFX decoder with 32 functions has been installed. All driving axles are powered. A smoke generator provides cylinder steam synchronized with the wheels. At Märklin and Trix, the issue of model maintenance is important. Every now and then, this concern results in new developments. This is what happened with the popular Vectron family in half o gauge. In the process, the designers have focused their attention on specific details. The most important difference, which you can't even see from the outside, is that our new Vectron has zinc die-cast beams. This meant that we also adapted the coupler and that the model now has a close coupling guided by a slider. It has received a five-pole motor. We now have attached handlebars on the driver's cab doors and on the front end. Then we have the rain gutter, a small detail. If you look closely, you can see it. There are indeed Vectron variations where the rain gutter above the cap door is short. On this model, we have been able to reproduce the long rain gutter. We have also made changes to the truck side frames. Again, on future models and the ones that are coming now, we can now replicate different country packages in terms of train signaling, for example. The first hand samples of the new locomotives from the Vectron platform give a good sense of the later half hour series models. The vehicles in the MS versions are used in long routes from Germany through Austria to Italy. This eliminates the time-consuming change of locomotives at the country and system borders. This train even goes to Verona all the way to rotterdam walhaven On the Brenner ramp near Brixen, two locomotives are at work because of the weight they have to pull. In Germany, one engine is sufficient, as with this KLV operating between Cologne and Verona. Most of the time it's KLV trains that are hauled, but now and then it's mixed freight from Carlo traffic. 
for which MacLean still offers a special car set. These are four four-axle stay cars. They are loaded with replicas of parts of a wind turbine. Included are the rotor blades, cones and housing. All of the cars have different road numbers. Please note that the parts do not represent a complete kit of a wind turbine. The Hafo Vectron model is colorful in the SBB Cargo International version. The locomotive is an eye-catcher when it pulls into a station. Its alpine origins can be seen through the stylized snow-covered mountains. The long rain gutter and the camera next to the driver's cap were also reproduced here. The lettering was already reproduced in detail on the hand-built model. All SBB Vectron engines were given a name, mostly after rivers they meet along their routes. Here it is, the Limmat. The SBB vehicles are also licensed for Germany, Italy and the Netherlands, and can thus be seen not only with the Noodle train to and from Beimerstetten on the Swabian Alp, but also on the Rhine. Here they are almost exclusively on the road with long and colorful KLV trains. These runs require four different pantographs on the engine's rooftop. The pantograph for Germany is located to the far left, followed by the one for the Netherlands and on the right-hand side, the one for Italy and for Switzerland. The Swiss Vectron received additional improvements. With this model, we can now of course also reproduce the corresponding Swiss light changeovers. Matching cars are included in the assortment or will be added to the program gradually. And here we have the Danish Vectron. There aren't many of those yet, but the Danes have now ordered quite a few of this successful locomotive. It's an operation all over Europe, and we are bringing you one such Vectron with the road number 3203. There it is, the neat Dane that features country-specific details. All new Vectron models, including this one, are available from Trix as well. A matching train is offered in the form of three Danish State Railway bi-level cars. This can be used to recreate local traffic around Copenhagen. Where do you suppose these two ladies are headed? Ah, probably to the airport, because this train is going there. This is a three-piece set made of different half o silver coins. There was the very well-known Lufthansa Airport Express, which was more of a long-distance service in terms of the stations it served. And around Frankfurt Airport, of course, there was also local traffic that served the airport. Therefore, at the end of the 1970s, beginning of the 1980s, it was decided to visually refurbish some commuter cars so that it was immediately apparent from the outside where this train was headed. These were silver coins that were available as second-class cars, but also as first- and second-class cars combined. And they were given an attractive blue ribbon on the outside, which then read, Your train to your plane. Customers knew immediately where they were going on this train. Suitable train locomotives are those of the class 110 or also the 141, if the former should ever be out of service. The two second-class cars have been given prototypical pitched roofs. The elegant Class 182 is being added as a variant to the Maclean half o program. It comes in the form of a colorful advertising locomotive for the Coca-Cola company. Advertising models have enjoyed a long tradition in Göppingen. For a few years now, we have had models with the Coca-Cola design in our assortment. 
we now have three half-O models as summer novelties. On the one hand, the class 182, which we are offering with the Coca-Cola design. This is accompanied by a matching sliding wall boxcar set, also with the Coca-Cola design. And again, a sliding wall boxcar set for the SBB, which also existed in the prototype. We already had one of these cars in the Minitrix assortment. Now we are bringing it out in half-O. And we were able to find a second road number where we know that the car in question also existed in this design. Here we have the 48344 SBB sliding wall boxcar set, which actually existed in this form in the prototype. Some of the models don't have a real prototype at all, however. Nur jetzt ist man in der Modellbahn auch frei, was die Gestaltung angeht. Und es sieht einfach schön aus, wenn man mal. In model railroading, you have a lot of poetic license when it comes to design, and it just looks nice when you have models that perhaps didn't exist like that at all, but still look great. Everybody knows the Coca-Cola brand, and if you can put together a train like that or put one of these cars in your train, it's a great thing. Perhaps we at Maclean will be the inspiration for someone who then goes ahead and actually decals a locomotive in this fashion. The hand samples give the layout a refreshing look. With the class 182 and the cars, you can put together a train that becomes a real eye-catcher. The metal model has an MFX plastic holder and a high-efficiency propulsion set that powers all four axles through carden shafts. The sliding wall boxcars will each receive their own road numbers. Some rail buses have managed to survive for an astonishingly long time. They were even upgraded and then operated as Class 796. They were used for a long time in school transportation around Tübingen. A two-piece set appears as a summer novelty in Z or Z scale. There is a replica of the interior. The motor and cab cars get LED interior lighting and a motor with a bell-shaped armature provides fine driving characteristics. But also for N-scale fans we have a red Hummer, namely as a powered catenary maintenance rail car with a catenary wire parts car. We have brought it out for the first time with sound. That means a new engine, loudspeakers and all the sound functions. For example, the noises that were made back then when the crew was out repairing the catenary wires. There are dialogues and of course all the other sounds like the engine noise, the signal tone. This makes it possible to depict lively scenes in the model as well just like the prototype. It is now initially available in the classic red version of ERA 3, at home in the Mainz Railway Division. The working platform can be turned, raised and lowered by hand. Now on to freight service and the G2000. Technically, the locomotive is equipped like the previous model with a centrally mounted motor. All four axles are power driven. And of course, we've included the full range of sounds here. So you have a locomotive that's also great for shunting. Rotterdam rail feeding. It's a locomotive that was used mostly around Rotterdam. And it also pulled and shunted container cars there. What could be more obvious than to include matching flat cars and containers in the assortment? We also want to show with these models that you can put Europe-wide freight traffic on the model railroad track. That's where the locomotive comes in, and the different freight cars also fit in. You can really put together a great Europe-wide freight train with them. A great diesel locomotive that may also run on layouts based on German themes. But it's not just the KLV cars that travel through Europe. These four-axle sliding wall boxcars are also used across borders, often in paper trains or for transporting pulp. The two privately owned Transwagon cars were authentically aged right out of the factory. 
They reflect the operating condition of around 2011. Although registered in Sweden, they are in service throughout Europe. Perfect cars for long unit trains or even mixed freight trains. This set adds even more variety to KLV trains. LKV Walter should, should be a familiar name to everyone, one of the best-known forwarding companies in Europe that not only runs long unit trains with only LKV Walter trailers in the train. You can also see these trailers in mixed freight trains. This special model of the double container freight car in half-O scale is only available in Märklin stores. The RHB has become more modern in recent years. The Albula articulated trains have also contributed to its popularity. They are operated by GE443 locomotives. A variation is available from LGB. We also have a little something shown on the model which the RHB has rebuilt. Namely, until recently, the locomotives all had a signal horn on the roof. Apparently, that was too similar to a car horn. I don't know. They have rebuilt the locomotive, or rather are now converting it to a compressed air whistle, as was common in the past. All wheel sets are propelled by two powerful Bühler motors. An MFX DCC decoder provides many light and sound functions. The Bobo 3, as they are often called, are mostly on the Albula with passenger trains. However, they can also haul freight trains, so this container transport car is a suitable accessory. There are two versions of these cars, one with a handbrake crank on the platform and then there are some that have a handbrake wheel on the side. The idea behind this was to avoid having to climb up onto the platform. However, it turned out that the variation with the platform made more sense, especially where there was a lot of snow. We now offer both variations. From Switzerland, now to Saxony. The locomotive has complete new tooling. It has an articulated chassis similar to the 6K. Therefore, it can easily run through the 600 radius. Two ball-bearing Bühler engines, high traction, finely detailed with all the trimmings, doors that open, smoke box door that opens, full equipment, sound decoder, engine lighting, wheel synchronized smoke emission, various switchable lighting. So everything that you could wish for. To go along with it, we have two beautiful passenger cars from the Zittau narrow gauge railway that you can ride in every year in August during the historic Mobil.